Here's how to do a simple beam alignment on the Speedy 100 and 300. So I've already turned my machine on, let the bed drop, and the machine is initialized. I have now brought the head over, out from the top left corner, and we'll remove the number three mirror. Speedy 300 looks different, it has two brass thumb screws to take out, but they both come off the same way. Straight off. And I'm now going to take a piece of paper masking tape, just painter's tape, will work fine, and place it directly over the hole on the side of the head. So now we can see our red dot. Now over a job control, we're going to adjust the test pulse setting. We're going to settings, options, service, click on the little plus, and laser. And I like to set mine at 25%. This makes for a, a quicker test pulse. You change it to 25%, press update, press OK, and then back to the laser. We're now over on the right side panel of the machine. You'll take the large Allen key supplied in your toolkit that came with your machine. Insert it and turn a quarter turn counterclockwise until it stops. You can then lift the lid back and straight off. So on the right side of the machine, you have the air assist pump, the Z-axis motor and the Z-axis boards. In the very back is your laser tube. In here is mirror one, which fires to mirror two, and out to mirror three, and then straight down at your work. What we're focusing on today is mirror two. Mirror two over here is responsible for this half of the bed. This half of the bed, the right side, is adjusted by mirror one. We're first going to start with the red dot pointer. As you can see, our red dot is a little bit off center, but that's okay because the red dot itself can be a little bit of adjustment. So what we're going to be checking is to make sure that red dot is in the same spot in all four corners. Uh, it doesn't really matter if it's a little off to the side or a little off to the top or bottom. Uh, we're more looking for the consistency that it's in the same place in all, all four corners. If it's off, it means that obviously you, you need an alignment. So we start by checking this back left corner and I'll grab a pen and we'll make a mark. I've now made a rough mark where my laser is. You see just a little black ink mark. So we'll now come down to this left corner here. As we can see we're pretty close but we are uh, no, we're pretty much being on there. Now we're going to check this back right corner. Same thing. And it's hard to see in the video, but it's actually pretty much being on center. And we'll come down here. And it's about the same. We're basically being on center. So, what you may find is that this side of the bed is perfect, it's right in the center where it should be and the far side is a little bit off, whether it be high or low or to each side. That's where adjusting mirror number two comes in. Mirror number two affects this side of the bed because from back here you're changing its orientation. Whereas mirror number one will change this mirror which will change this side of the bed. If you find that after you've adjusted everything that your red dot and your bird marks are in the, the same place at all four corners but you're a little to the side or a little to the top or bottom, um, I would personally suggest not to touch anything back here because this can cause you hours and hours of grief if you don't know what you're doing. At this point, I would call your local service tech and have one of us come out 
and we'll do a full machine alignment. What we're covering today is what I would call a basic alignment. We're just going to cover the bed itself and specifically this side of the bed because you'll see that this side of the bed will start to lose power over time and it's nothing to do with the machine it's the actual mirror itself will over time because of all it's moving will come out of adjustment slightly. I have now put the side cover back on and the lid is now closed so we can fire a test pulse. To fire a test pulse you'll push down on these two buttons here and you'll push and hold them until it makes a burn mark on the tape and then you'll let go. So let's watch this. Push down and hold. Made a little burn mark so we let go. So now we'll check this bottom corner here. Do the same thing. And we're pretty much bang in the same place, so we're fine there. And what you want to do is you want to check this side of the bed first. If this side is perfect, then you can adjust mirror two to change this side. If this side is off, say it's in the center here, but when you come to this end, it's a little low, high, left, right, whatever, then you're dealing with mirror one. If that's the case, then you're gonna have to call a tech out to have a look. So we're happy with this side. As you can see, they, they both hit the same spot. Your tolerance is about um, a 32nd to a 16th, give or take. Um, you want to try and get it obviously as close as you can, but a tiny bit off isn't, isn't the end of the world, as long as it's not a mile off. So we determine this side is fine. So we're going to go over to this side and check this. Again. Go. And same thing. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to see in the uh, in the the video, but I hit the same spot. And we'll come down here and do the same thing. Push and hold. Burns. We let it go. Now we can open the lid and have a look. Now, as I said kind of hard to see but it did actually hit in the same spot at all four corners um, as you can see the red dot is a tiny bit of adjustment it's a little down to the left but that's perfectly okay because the red dot is just a visual aid it, it plays no part in the cutting or the engraving so this machine's pretty well in focus but I purposely just put it out of focus to show you what it could look like so at this end we're hitting right in the center with the red dot, which we're very happy about. But when we come all the way to this end, we can actually watch it drop. By the time we get this side, we're well below. So to fix this, we're going to come back here, and we're going to be adjusting this mirror. So by turning these two screws, you can actually adjust that red dot up and down. Now I suggest just doing little tiny turns and you can see the red dot moving and then you can figure out which one does uh, which direction. So I'm going to move this slightly up. It's over. So I managed to make that just right in the center. So this one, this bottom one, does do up and down and this one does left and right. Um, but like I said, as, as the machine get, gets more complicated, uh, they kind of each do different things. Like back here, essentially does the same thing, but it's gonna hit it at a different point here, which is gonna change it in there. So actually up down here is actually reversed out there. So that's why I say use tiny little movements, and you don't wanna be cranking on these things very far, very fine adjustment. To, to move that red dot, which you just saw, was maybe uh, an eighth of a turn at the very most, maybe a sixteenth of a turn. It, it does not take very much. Um, and as I said before, with the laser at this end, adjusting this mirror won't, won't do anything. You can adjust it like crazy and it'll barely move. And when you put it out of this end, it'll be way, way off. 
So you want to do all your adjustments to this mirror at this end of the machine. So we're happy with the red dot there. Move it down and check here. As you can see, it's still nice in the center. So we'll replace the tape and we'll fire test pulse with all four quarters again. The machine is now closed back up because obviously you can't fire it with the doors open, it won't let you. So we're gonna start back at the back right corner and fire test pulse. We're gonna come down and we're gonna fire another test pulse. There we go. And we're gonna check. Top left corner. Fire test pulse again. And then finally bottom left corner. Let's have a look. As you can see, we're within tolerance. They're all hitting the same spot. And they're pretty much being on center right in the hole. Now, on a Speedy 100, it's not as crucial that you be right in the center. Obviously, the more center, the better. Um, this particular machine, the head design is, is different from the 3 and 400. It does not have the nose cone. Uh, with the Speedy 300 and the nose cone, you may find that if the beam is too far off center, it'll actually catch the side of the nose cone. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So as we can see on the Speedy 300, the head is considerably different. Uh, functionally, it's very much the same. Uh, two brass screws to take off the mirror, just pull straight off. As you can see, there is a shape to it, so it can go on the right way. Uh, this is actually good to point out too, the lens has that same, that same taper shape. We actually pull the lens out, I can show you. So as you can see, it's square on the back, and it's notched on the front. Uh, this can go in backwards, and as you can see, it's actually offset to the words the back. So if you put it in backwards, your beam will actually shoot out at, at an angle. So as I was saying, you have the nose cone on the bottom of the 300 and the 400, they share the same head. Um, but because it has to come out a very small hole, if the beam is off in here and it's coming out at an angle, it'll actually catch the side of that hole on the way out and you will lose power. So if you do notice that you've managed to get it to hit the same spot at all four corners, but it's still pretty far off center, you're still gonna need to call a, a tech to come out and give it a proper full alignment. Next, we'll replace all the parts. Put the mirror back on, put the side cover back on, and that basically concludes the basic tutorial of a beam alignment on the Speedy 100, 300, and the 400. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to email tech support at truetechlaser.ca or if you wish to dial in please use extension 902 from everyone here at True Tech Laser Canada please have a wonderful day